Hackney Marshes once again. Right, it's the middle of May. The sun is shining. It's that magical time of year where everything seems to just burst into life. I'm checking out the area where we've planted all these trees and put little log piles in. Looks like some of our recently built log piles have been messed with. So I'll fix those up. And of course, there's rubbish. If you haven't seen any of the other videos explaining what we're doing here, we have planted a whole load of trees and we're putting in protected log piles to create a green corridor across what was this open grassy area. It's gonna be hugely beneficial for so many species. We've got a population of wood mice over here. We had a huge population of wood mice, which we all but lost here. I will make a video explaining why we lost the wood mice and what we're doing to get them back. But yeah, that's a story for another day. It's great to see these trees starting to come to life. A few of them have been vandalized and broken and ripped up, whatever. But you expect that in an urban environment. There's always going to be some morons. That aside though, it's starting to look great here. In a couple of years time, this is going to be such an amazing bit of habitat. Annoying that people feel the need to mess with these log piles, but it is what it is. I've found if you throw grass cuttings or mulch or anything on top of the log piles like that, they're less likely to get messed with. I guess it just doesn't look as easy to take apart. Oh, it's so nice. So many birds singing. Black haps, lesser white throat back there, chiff chaffs. Robins, lots of robins, of course. After repairing that wood pile, I'm now just gonna go for a walk, enjoy myself, not spend the whole day building habitat. After saying I wasn't gonna do anything, I'm just looking at all these newly cut logs here, these slices of trunks, which are so good. You put these in the long grass and they pretty much make small mammal habitat just by being there. Little cavity underneath, perfect. I really wish I had some transport with me to get them just a couple of hundred metres up there where they would be so useful, but I don't, so another day. That said, I might take a couple of these little ones just over to the other side of the river to increase the vole habitat over there. Oh, look at that, straight in, lesser stag. I said this last time I made a video here, you can't do anything here without finding lesser stags. It's amazing how the population has boomed over the last few years. And of course it's playing dead. Robin is following me. Because it knows I'm doing work. It wants to see if I dig any worms up. Obviously this isn't going to create a whole load of habitat. I'll come back within the next couple of weeks with a trolley bring loads of these over and hopefully we'll have a boom vol year and if that does happen towards the end of summer we'll relocate a few of them over the other side of the river where we've planted all the trees built all the habitat if we can establish a population of them over there that will be massively helpful not just as a food source for the weasels but it will also take the pressure off the wood mice if the weasels have more than one source of prey, it means the wood mice re-establish a little quicker. Sparrowhawk over there. I've got completely the wrong camera, pointless. I've got the right camera and the big lens in my bag. I'm not getting them out now, way too late. So in this area, we tend to put vole habitat down around this time every year. It's marshy over the winter, but it dries out in the summer. Field vole populations tend to peak during the summer, late summer, and then drop right back over winter. So what we want to do is encourage that peak to be as big as it possibly can. So we need to get as many logs as we can in here within the next few weeks. 
Here's one that was been there since last year. You can see where the valves were. This probably hasn't been used since last year. It's really damp. And as the logs go down on the drier grass, that's when you get lots of voles underneath them. Hello, dog. You barking at me? Yes, you're very barky. Well done. So that's the plan for this area. Over the next few weeks, lots of nice, big, flat slices of tree trunk in here. Luxury vole homes coming soon. And yes, I did put a whole load more logs down here a few days after filming this. But sadly, the increase in vol numbers that I was hoping for didn't happen. I wasn't able to monitor them as much as I would have liked to have done. But I can safely say from what I did see that vol numbers were extremely low this year. So doing what I can to increase the population here has been added to my 2024 to-do list. Which is already way too long. Look at this. Oh, this is disgusting. What is the matter with people? Oh, that'll be useful when I'm done. Tins like these. Hedgehogs get their heads caught in them. Really sharp. Right, I think I can actually carry that. Still as if I want a dog walker to come past with a couple of poo bags and I can use them as gloves. I don't have to pick that grim up with my bare hands. Ah, oh, I see a dog walker. Excuse me. Hiya. Do you have a couple of poo bags that I can steal off you? Someone's dumped a load of rubbish around there and I'm gonna clear it up. Oh, that's very kind of you. Yeah, I've only got one and that's it's quite a small one. A makeshift glove. Yeah. Some of it is just so grim. Hello! Okay, hand. Through the handles, I have just mastered the poo bag glove technique. Genius. Last bag crushed in there. All I've got to do is drag this to the bin. Just in time for that to split. Thank you, Dog Walker, who gave me that. I appreciate it so much. Rubbish is gone, all in there. Let's hope that makes it to the bin, because it's Right, a long walk. Do the wheels work? Oh, they do, the wheels work. That's something. Oh my God, this thing's gonna fall apart. That's the last thing I want. Rubbish spilling out everywhere. Just hope we make it to the bin. It's heavy as well. Just over that bridge. And then I'm at the bin. Oh, this is hurting my back. But at least it's past all the way from here. Oh, here's the bridge. Just get across this bridge and then I can see the bin. There is the bin. Don't split. 